Today, we celebrate the feast of the Holy Trinity. This is a mystery basic to our faith as Christians. The mystery that separates us from the great faiths of Judaism and Islam. They too believe the one God, the father of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob. But we Christians believe that the God of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob loved the world so much that he sent his son to the world, not to condemn the world, but in order that the world might be saved through him. Thereafter, the same God sent the Holy Spirit to us at Pentecost to complete the work of Christ on earth and bring us to the fullness of grace. The Feast of the Holy Trinity draws our attention to the mystery of God's own life as He has revealed it to us and how as His creatures we can share His life. It celebrates and teaches us that the inner life of God is one of intense, intimate and genuine relationship of love. Our life is built on true relationships. It's impossible to live isolated, disconnected life and still achieve fulfillment. We cannot go through life untouched or untouching. The life and death of each of us has its influence on others. When our relationships thrive, we imitate the inner life of God. We celebrate the presence of the Triune God within us. The Feast of Holy Trinity, the celebration of the inner life of God, challenges us to be a better person. Before the world began, the Father chose us to be His adopted sons and daughters. Such was His will and pleasure. St. Paul, writing to Romans, reminds them that the love of God has been poured out into our hearts through the Holy Spirit that has been given to us. What God has already done in our life opens up immense possibilities for us. We are not alone. God is ever present in our struggles. Jesus has shown us how to live as his beloved children and conquer the world. The Spirit of God is our help and encouragement. Wouldn't it be great if the purpose of all our relationships is to bring out the best in others as they bring out the best in us? People, be they family, friend or stranger, come into our lives and challenge us to be a better person. They invite us to be patient and understanding. They challenge us to be generous and fair. Their presence in our lives makes us question how fully we live Christ's commandment, love one another as I have loved you. The feast of the inner life of God, a life of intimate relationship can bring us to question the healthiness and wholeness of our own personal relationships. Do we make our friends want to be better persons? Do our friends challenge us to be a better person? Are we sources of growth and maturity to our friends and do we allow them to help us grow and mature? May we seek the answer to these questions in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.